I, I was very much the director for hire, so there'd been um, a, a lot of work on, on the film before I even came on board, a lot of work on the script, and um, it originally came from the um, exec producers who'd seen Jesse Quackenbush's documentary, The Last Word, yeah, and Jesse, of course, is a is a, um, an attorney from, from Amarillo, and, and I think he, he had a, um, he was very interested in the case and, and felt that there was a, a lot of Lot, lot of elements that were wrong with the process of the um, of, of the legal case. So it kind of went from there. He he did this amazing documentary, which I encourage anyone to watch if they haven't seen it. And um, that that was optioned by the producers. And then the producers got in touch with me. I, I read the script, um, which was more a kind of genre um, film than, than maybe would be suggested by Jesse's um Jess's documentary and but I, I thought it was a fascinating fascinating and actually very sad um kind of you know a, a, a events that happened and, and so to to have those in, in a film I thought would, would really be quite an unusual film No, unfortunately not. I, I know, again, before I came on board, the producers had approached the a a Amarillo authorities, and, and I, th I think whoever whoever those authorities were, were very keen for us not to film in Amarillo. Um, that, that said, I, I, did spend, I did drive up to Amarillo um, for a couple of days just to wander around the place, see, see what it's like, you know, check out the, the courthouse and, and, and the convent where, where the, the story, you know, originated, um, just to get a feel for my own you know, self and, and my own kind of visual realization of the project. But in the end, we, we, we looked at various different states in America, and, and in the end, we, we settled on a place called Shreveport, which is northwest Louisiana. Um, and Shreveport was the place that I felt was actually closest to the, the Texan landscape, which is kind of weird because, you know, Louisiana is generally very different from the Texan landscape. But that said, um, Shreveport is, is, I think it, it's 20 minutes from the Texan border. And I think it's the, the, the city or town in, in, in Louisiana, which is closest to, to Texas. So with that in mind, you know, there were a lot of, lot of locations which, which felt that they looked similar to, to what we were trying to achieve. So that, that's in the end where we, where we shot the, um, the film. Yeah, very much so. And, and of course, you know, Johnny Frank Garrett's family is still alive. His mother's still alive. His two sisters are still alive. That they all live in Amarillo. Um, you know, he has cousins. And um, so again, you know, and you know, I didn't want to upset them. You know, get make, make them you know feel that we're ex exploiting the subject because again, you know, the whole subject of Johnny, his incarceration, his his trial, his his ultimate uh, execution is is, is horrific. As, as of course is is the death and and, and rape of, of the nun who who's who's um, you know started the whole project really. Um, so I I know the producers before I came on board sent the script to. Johnny's family, um, and they, they read it. They, they were reasonably okay. Well, they were okay with it. Um, then, as happens often in, in film, you know, things change, scripts change, everything changes. Um, and, and I don't think they ever saw the draft that we we actually filmed. So I, I was I was worried that you know they wouldn't like it. Um, but that said, you know, we rather than again Jess's documentary which concentrated more on, on the legalese of, of the situation um you know ours was a horror film it was always going to be a horror film so so the, the fact that Johnny wrote this curse letter and um and 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 you know after he died the, the curse seemed like it was actually happening you know that provided the information and um and and I suppose, essence of, of the film. But one, one thing that we were very careful to do was not to sensationalize the deaths too much um, and to make them as real as, as possible. So certainly, you know, there's maybe, I think, four or five deaths in the film. I think most of those, apart from maybe one, are actually very close, if not, if, if not identical to the, the actual deaths in, in real life. 
Um, so that, that's something that the producers were, were very keen that we, we stick as close as possible to, to those facts. Well, well, I mean, I mean, for me personally, I, I I can't talk for the producers, but for me personally, I, I think you know it, it is a very human story. It's 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 very pertinent, is as pertinent now as it was back then, you know. And and it's only in, in my films that I've done previously, like like Red, White, and Blue, and, and The Living and the Dead, and and even my ABCs of Death, I, I tried to you know take horror in, in a slightly different direction, and I, I've concentrated on. On you know not obvious genre tropes, um, but really try to you know bring a humanity into horror, and and I and I, th I think you know what was interesting about this is that it was it was really you know that there is a call for social social justice in in in, in this case because it's, you know because I think everyone who worked on the film felt that Johnny was was innocent, um, and and to this day of course he still has not been um, declared innocent and he has not been pardoned. So, so I, I think as someone who likes pushing horror in slightly different directions from the norm, it felt like doing a horror, a genre film, um, which was still working towards a, a social kind of uh, and political cause, was, was a very unusual element, you know, a very unusual con, um, kind of conjoining of, of things, really. And, and, and whilst I don't think we ultimately achieved that as much as I, you know, hope, at the end of the film, you still think, well, you know, it, it is some kind of comment on on the system. It is some kind of comment on on um, you know the the ex execution and, and all that kind of stuff in 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 kind of Western society today. So I think in that respect, you know, it's still something which I, I hope the audience who watches it will consider the, these things um, and and ultimately consider you know Johnny's innocence or really. Yeah. Yeah, ab absolutely. And, and as I said earlier, earlier on, you know, I, I would encourage anyone to, to, you know, watch Jesse's documentary, which I think you can find online, you know, that there are, you know, he, as far as I can work out, that that's the most, um, you know, the, the definitive um, investigation in, into Johnny and, and, and the case. Um, and, and I think, again, watching that is, is quite jaw dropping. And, and I guess you know everyone's watched the uh, the, the, the making of a murderer with, with the Stephen Avery case, and and um, and that of course was I think ten ten or so episodes of, of over an hour each. But th this is this is very much like like that only condensed into a ninety minute film, um, a, a documentary, that being Jesse's documentary. So I, I think anyone who's watched that um, the Stephen Avery case and, and and really just sat there going, is this really possible in t in today's society you know are, are people being treated so badly and so wrongly I, I think anyone who's watched that and felt that will watch this and feel exactly the same thing which is what certainly what I did you know when I watched um, Jesse's thing and then and then as soon as I watched it I then started going online and and, and reading more about the case and, and um, so yeah I, I would hope that anyone who has a, a, a vague interest uh, which I would hope will be anyone who watches the film will, will do that and 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 really you know start looking at the facts and and, and really just thinking you know about the, the actual you know final outcome of, of what happened. Well, we we, we shot it a while ago. Um, we sh we actually shot it in the end of 2013. Um, you know, some films take longer than others. This this film did take longer than than it probably should have done, but. We we um, we premiered the film in, in Austin, Texas, at South by Southwest, um, pretty much this time last year actually, um, and and then again, the, the film process is such a long, takes such a long time that, that we I think we got it we we were offered distribution sometime in the summer, and then again it still takes you know six to eight months for the film to come out. So so the, the great thing that that does is actually enables us to play festivals around the world whilst they're working on distribution. So we, we have played the film 
literally all over the world now in, in Brazil, England, Ireland, um, Sitges in Spain, um, Slovenia, um, Croatia, Italy. Um, and, and so, you know, every, every time the, the film plays, um, you know, again, a few more people find out uh, about Johnny, Johnny Frank Garrett. And again, hope we do that research. So I'm, I'm trying to think of other places, Estonia, um, San Diego, Mexico. So yeah, it, it's, it's been amazing, you know, amazing to have this film played around the world and, 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 and really just, and, and in a way it's, it's actually been very interesting watching the audiences because I think a lot of the audiences in foreign countries have, have almost responded better to it than the Americans. Because, yeah, you know, because I, I think obviously you know, some Americans will watch it and think either that's garbage or, or we actually, you know, believe in the death penalty and, and, and we don't believe, you know, the liberal ethics of this film. But I, I think generally, you know, in, in, in countries where the death penalty it does, doesn't exist, you know, there's a lot, a lot of people against it, and, and so I'm kind of, you know, shocked in, 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 a, in a small way by, by the content of this film, um, and, and see it more as a kind of, you know, comment on, you know, America really, as, as, as much as just, just Johnny himself and, and his case. Well, Pete. Actually, was the the exact um, that I mentioned earlier on, but I, I I didn't mention his name, of course. But um, he so he was the guy who originally watched the documentary. I don't know I don't know where he found it from. I don't know how he found it, but he watched it, and, and he was the guy who saw this was, was blown away and, and, and loved loved what he saw, and then optioned it with with a view to turning it into into a film. And um, you know, he, he's someone who I, I've met you know uh, only a few times, but lovely guy. Um, you know, very supportive, and I, I think he's you know very, very proud of, of what we've come up with. Yeah, as, as far as I'm aware, you know, again, in, increasingly the, these days for for you know genre films and, and for low budget films, getting theatrical releases is increasingly tough um so you know again our, our festival circuit has always been where, where people have seen it in the cinema um so it's 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 coming out on you know dvd um it's coming out on, on pretty much all digital platforms as far as i can work out so i and I, I believe it comes out on the 13th or 14th of march so really from then onwards you know you'll be able to rent it or, or buy it both digitally and and, and on on dvd I, I'm not sure if I'm the right person to ask for that, um, but but I mean I would imagine so. Um, I'm I'm not sure who I'd ask for that. Um, can you? I, I've got your email. Let me let let I don't know. Let let, let me see if I can ask someone and and ask. No, I, I'm 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 sure it wouldn't be a problem, but let me just double check. Um, no, not not really. And again, I as as kind of said before, you know, I hope people watch it and, and I hope that they really go away and, and think about you know Johnny's case really because I think what you know what one forgets is that one watches a film and thinks it's you know escapist fun, um, but. Behind this film is, is an incredibly, as I said earlier on, very tragic story. Not only of, of the, the the nun, you know, she was a 76 year old nun who was raped and murdered. Um, so that in itself is, of course, horrendous and tragic. But then, then of course, the the, tra the, the next tragedy is, is is how Johnny Frank Garrett was was you know, kid from the wrong side of the tracks was, was arrested. I think I think he was only 17 when he was arrested. Um, so really young, um, and then and then just got bad legal representation, and then ultimately ended up dying. And and, and one thing that we didn't get into the film, but that's really interesting, is 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 um, his. I'm not sure who. I guess him, his lawyers managed to get a um, get an appeal to. I think it was Pope John Paul II, who was the, the, the Pope at the time, and and in, in in the Vatican, and he actually approached Anne Richards, who was the then. Um, 
governor of Texas and, and ask, asking her for a stay of execution. And I think Ann Richards then put it to her kind of legal department, or, or I think it was voted on in, in some kind of government, and, and, and the stay was then overturned. So, so you really have, you know, people, you know, the, the, pope, the pope, you know, asking for Johnny's sentence to be, you know, stayed. So you really got really massively powerful people feeling that this was wrong. But, you know, he still ended up being executed. So, so it's tragic in a lot of senses. So, you know, e even though, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a creepy film, you know, it's, it has its elements of, you know, horror. In the end, just, just you know, think about the, the actual reality. You know, look at the pictures online of Johnny and, and think that this, is, this actually happened. And it only happened about 20, 30 years ago. Um, and, and, and it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't really be allowed to happen again. Yeah, no, good luck. And and you know, if, if you if you want to do a follow up or anything, I'm I you've got my details. Um, yeah. yeah, brilliant. Like, all right. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll, I'll do that right now. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. You too.